Hey guys, how's it going? It is Carrier with another Infinite Magic Raid video. And in today's video, I just want to quickly touch on the new patch here and a couple of the other patches that not necessarily in this one that I think have been really good. So there's been a lot of changes going on currently in the game that are actually pretty sweet. So we got the change here where they separated. We got the achievements here. This has all been in the game for a bit now where it's all broken down here in its own tab. Then in the quests, we have these hero quests here where we could get a guaranteed legendary eventually. This is going to take a long time, and Mutu, I think, is a pretty solid character. I do have him pulled, but I haven't really built him yet. But I think he has potential, because he has this... He's like a buffer, and he buffs himself, and then also buffs the team. And I really like Slaville, and so it's kind of uh, something like that. And he doesn't need the exclusive to be able to make him get one more action turn, because Slaville, in my opinion is a good character and she gives 40% attack up to everyone, but you need exclusive one to make it to where she goes again. And when she gets to go again after uh, doing this, she becomes insane. So three turn cooldown becomes a two turn cooldown. So everyone's getting attack up buff if you get this guy ready to go. And eventually everyone's gonna get him for sure. And currently how it works is you have this top one here, complete the 20 battles, but then these two here, you could refresh or change but they're pretty easy and then it has a cooldown i believe it just resets on you just have like these three every single day and then it looks like this ends in 30 days so it's something that's going to refresh hopefully it means you have 30 days to do this and then there's a new legendary in there every month which i think would be awesome and would really encourage people to play consistently going forward and then there's actually like a really good reward there at the end there that's going to make it worth it then we have these dungeon bounties here that I this this right here is some of the coolest progress I've been able to get. And it's allowed me to be very close to being able to exclusive one my Ben Austin. So I'm two shards away now. Whereas before I was nowhere close to that. So here if we go to the exclusive, see if I'm covering it. No, I'm not. Okay, so 48 shards here out of 50. I just need the two or three that I'm getting from the current event by finishing. Here, who, what's the boss name? Marius here. So once I beat Marius, this stage here at uh, 10,000 points, then boom, exclusive one Ben Austin. I think that's really exciting to be able to boost that up as fast as possible, like significantly faster than normally because I've been able to get just 20 shards randomly from this. And then now uh, the thing that we're waiting for is this challenge guild bus. Because another thing cool about this too is that it's, it's all retroactive. So I was able to just immediately claim, clear 100 stages of Dwarven Ruins, 60 stages of Tower of Mark, and 100 stages of Faction Abyss. I was really thinking that this was not going to be something uh, retroactive there. The Guild Bus stuff, I've uh, cleared it way more times than this is saying. It says like up to 40. I've probably done about 40 total uh, over the course of the, maybe even more than that. But this is something that's not retroactive, unfortunately. And then something that's not retroactive is also this one too, the Clear Floor 6 of the Emblem Challenge, which is not that big of a deal because I was able to just clear it almost immediately. And that's, you know, what what is that? Four five-star chickens and then 20 of these mythic hero shards. So if you're close, you could be getting your first mythic here way sooner than you're anticipating because of this new uh, thing that they added in the game in Dungeon Bounty. And how I believe this works, so complete quests in the Dungeon Bounty event to win rich rewards, complete quests in different dungeons to win them, and then the event interest will not disappear until all quests are completed and all rewards are claimed. So I'm not sure if they have more of these afterwards or if this is just a one-time thing and then this goes away. If I had to guess, that's probably what it is. It's just once we clear this guild bus one, it's just gone. Uh, ideally, it'd be something like these, uh, what is it called again, the hero quests, where maybe once a month or something like that, it refreshes and we have to do new challenges and we get to have a pretty consistent source of these mythic shards as we play the game for the month or whatever. So... I think that's really cool. All these things have been really sweet additions to the game here. And then another thing that it, not just the five star chickens, but there's all these four star chickens too. So I, all four stars all the way through experience. Like, so I've been able to get someone, uh, where is it? So here, a uh, Quinlan. So I got this guy and he's getting up there. Uh, so we're trying to awaken this guy. Where is it? Oh, okay, yeah, I had this ready. And he's now almost ready to go. I don't have the books for him, but it is encouraging to get more 
chickens here to be able to level up a character. So it's essentially boosted up a character that it was going to take forever to get. And now I get to actually be able to use him here pretty soon. I think this guy's pretty sick using the most previous uh, summoning event. Glad I was able to get him to at least try him out. He's another HP burner. So that's encouraging there. But for the most part, I just want to talk about these new changes and I think they're actually really sweet. Also, another thing too, it's kind of difficult to be able to click this on the phone I've been finding, but on the emulator here, uh, you can download this down in the description below, but it's blue stacks and you just click your little uh, lightning bolt here and you can store your stamina. And I ended up just storing 2000 because I was, I, I remember hearing maybe there's a, a double, um, like the dragon egg, a dragon egg event here soon. And so I was just storing that, but then the Marius one happened before that. So I was like, okay, I'll just pull out that energy for that. But being able to store 2000 energy, I think that's one of the coolest things because uh, me personally, I just buy energy. So it's like, it's really easy for me to get out of touch with how people normally do their energy in this game. But when it comes to events, like I, I never really knew, like, do I just overcount my energy and wait for events if I was free to play? I don't know how people normally do that or what the smartest way to do that is. But the storage thing makes it so much easier that at least regardless, you could just store 2000 of it. And then you at least have that little boost and not have to worry about overcapping your energy while waiting for an event. So I think that's really cool that they added that. And I've been, you know, that, that would have been awesome at Raid Shadow Legends, whatever games that have this. I've never seen a uh, energy storage thing before. So I think that's a really cool change that they, I've never seen one of these games add before. And, uh, and also the, the patches have been happening so fast. Like there's so many improvements in this game at a very quick pace. So I think that's another thing that deserves props. So that's pretty much it for this video. I think it's really cool that they just pretty much handed out a ton of free rewards. This is like this this is actually better than the Thanksgiving holiday event, which I think is kind of funny in my opinion, but a very cool uh W patch in my opinion and curious to hear your guys' thoughts down below and with that guys I'm out of here. Peace.